give you good value. Hey, what do you mean? S80 screws are kind of loud when they see Somebody! Shinra weapons are on the rampage. Five of them, like floating eyeballs. I saw them wander off into the scrap, but if they come back into town, it'd be a disaster. We need someone who's willing and able to fight. I'll handle it. You will? Oh man, you're the best! I could hear them shouting intruder detected or some other nonsense when they floated off. Be careful, they look dangerous. So, do you think this means Those creepy floating eyeballs coming? are probably still in the scrap. There were five of them in all. I, I hope. Right, we got it.
Okay then. <laughs> Let's go. Let us through, or else. Get him! <laughs> One more shot! Don't scare me. 
I heard, I heard, you got them all, right? Robots from the reactor getting lost in the slums. Must be because of the explosion up top, huh? They must have thought and on their turf or something. Maybe. Almost feel sorry for them. Getting all lost and confused like that. Oh, what am I saying? Man or machine? Shinra bitches get what they deserve. Now hold on. Anyway, I think it's safe to say our work here is finished. If you're ever in the market for a Merc again, remember, you can count on Cloud. Uh, sure. And sorry about putting this on you all of a sudden. I'm really glad you were willing to help out, though. Thanks again. Actually, while you're here, I've got another favor to ask. There's this old guy who hangs out in front of the weapons shop. I think he might need your help. Would you mind talking to him? Hoping it will include a declaration of war. It feels good to help people out, doesn't it? Yeah. You having fun yet? Heaps. Then you can't be afraid to show it more. Don't forget, it's all about service and salesmanship. I'll leave that to you. All right. But don't think you can rely on me forever, mister. Wasn't planning to. That's good. Because I command a very good salary. Another war is coming soon. I'd appreciate it if you could talk to that old guy. He helped me out a while back, and I'd like to return the favor. That avalanche doesn't scare me. Wait, are you him? The Mark? The one who'll take on any job, no matter how tough. Oh, I know you. You must be that mercenary. I have a problem. It's the anniversary of my wife's death, and I wanted to visit her grave. But I can't because some creatures have turned the graveyard into their nest. Could you do me a favor and go there in my stead? She shouldn't be alone today. It'll cost you. That's fine, that's fine. The graveyard's right by the head of the river. But I heard they put a new gate in recently to replace the old broken one. Now that those creatures have moved in, I'm sure it's locked up tight. Didn't we buy a graveyard key off Moggy? I think we did. We could always run away, right? That'll do. Okay. 
Got it covered. Many 
I'd love to say something, but I don't work here. Talking to that guy, he does. Instead of our regular program, we will be bringing to you live the protest rally taking place tomorrow. Buddy, I'm just a customer. According to officials who are involved with the ongoing investigation, the bombers are believed to have gone into hiding somewhere far from the site of the attack. Large-scale search led hey. military forces I'd appreciate it if you could talk to that old guy. He helped me out a while back, and I'd like to return the favor. That avalanche doesn't scare me. Wait, are you him? The Merc? The one who'll take on any job no matter how to talk. Those who died also learned a lesson. Oh, I know you. You must be that mercenary. I have a problem. It's the anniversary of my wife's death and I wanted to visit her grave. But I can't because some creatures have turned the graveyard into their nest. Could you do me a favor and go there in my stead? She shouldn't be alone today. It'll cost you. That's fine, that's fine. The graveyard's right by the head of the river. But I heard they put a new gate in recently to replace the old broken one. Now that those creatures have moved in, I'm sure it's locked up tight. Didn't we buy a graveyard key off Moggy? I think we did. We could always run away, right? That'll do. Yeah! <laughs> 
Brace yourself. You've got it covered. Many I'd love to say something, but I don't Often work here. Talking to that guy, he does. Us. Programming. We will be bringing to you live the protest rally taking place tomorrow. Buddy, I'm just a customer. According to officials who are involved with the ongoing investigation, the bombers are believed to 
have gone into hiding somewhere far from the site of the attack. A large-scale search led hey. by military forces is being planned. I'd like to say something, but I don't work here. Talk to that guy. He safely. does. Though the ceasefire was declared five years ago, the scars are still fresh. As the children we interviewed earlier today, whose parents died in the war, Buddy, will attack. I'm just a customer. Looking for a new weapon? Gone into hiding somewhere far from the site of the attack. A large-scale search led by military forces is currently being planned. I'd love to say something, but I don't work here. Talk to that guy. He does. We're coordinating their efforts with blue type. A revelation that has left many citizens shaken. Though the ceasefire was declared Buddy, five years I'm ago, just a customer. the scars are still fresh. I'd love to say something, but I don't work here. Talk to that guy. He does. Gathering in Sector 2 for President Shinra's upcoming speech, hoping it will include a declaration of war. Buddy, I'm just a customer. And now, the weather report. We're looking at another cloudy day in Midgar, with overcast skies through tomorrow. There's also a chance of rain in Sunday. Hey, looking for a new weapon? Something, but I don't work here. Talk to that guy. He does. grateful for what you did. Here's your reward. I owe him a lot. Maybe more than I can ever repay. And now, I owe you a lot, too. I know it's not much, but I hope it makes up for it a little bit. We paid our respects to your wife. And we took care of those creatures. Oh, that's such a relief to hear. I can't tell you how much it was weighing on my mind. I was beginning to think I might never be able to visit her grave again. With my bad back and my legs, my whole body's a mess, frankly. I... I didn't think I could make it past the creatures. But I was prepared to die trying. And then you two came along. 
Still, I've got to face facts. Creatures or no, I can't keep making these trips. Don't say that. This is the graveyard key. Run it back to Moggy. But I just told you about my legs. Why don't you just give it back? Okay. It'll cost you 5,000 gil, though. 5,000? It's always money with you people. <sighs> Fine. I won't ask you for anything else. I'll take your damned key and give it to the boy. <sighs> it's downright depressing. What is the world coming to these days? Money. That's all you kids think about. Not a whit of generosity or selflessness. I may as well keep working till the day I die. Yeah. You're a real dick, you know that? But on the bright side, it seems he's all fired up again. According to officials who are involved with Buddy, the ongoing I'm just a customer. They crossed the line from this reactor. Now that things are starting to settle down a bit, we can finally play Whack-A-Box again. It's all thanks to you. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's this tired-looking guy out by the community center, and I heard he was looking for some help. for our favorite game, Whack-A-Box. You want in? It's super fun. The rules are easy. The person who whacks the most boxes is crowned champion of the hideout. We usually don't let adults play, but since you're cool, we're gonna make a special exception just for you. Seen anyone 
didn't do that before! See? Pretty fun, right? Play with us again, okay? Wanna play some Whack-A-Box? Come back when you wanna smash stuff! Monsters out there are getting stronger and stronger. But that's no problem for you, though, right? Be careful. to be a certain merc that's become the talk of the town? Yep. I'm Damon. Little more than a humble reporter with the daily buzz. Ah, uh, that rag? The one that's always printing awful rumors about the slums? On the contrary, my dear. We strive to raise awareness of the plight of our undercity brethren. We seek a better future for everyone, rich and poor. Now then, my friends, I find myself in need of your exceptional services for a trifling matter. Are you familiar with the mysterious and notorious bandit known as the Angel of the Slums? She delivers written declarations to her victims, usually Shinra associates, before divesting them of their valuables. Everyone knows her. Everything she steals, she gives to the poor and needy. Yes, she's got a knack for public relations. Very popular down here as a result. Nevertheless, she is a criminal and a threat to the public order. I've made it my mission to unmask the villain, but the locals have been uncooperative and uncommunicative, to put it mildly. And now that my identity as a reporter has been exposed, my sources have all deserted me. Which brings me to you, the Merc of the Hour, and the man who will serve up my scoop. I'll welcome any and all information pertaining to the so-called Angel of the Slums. The guardian angel of the slums? Such a mysterious figure, always talked about, but never seen by anyone. The angel gets in and out without being noticed and always leaves a calling card. <gasps> Maybe a magician. No, no, it's no magic trick. It's genuine magic. Rumor has it that the angel is a witch. If we're going by rumors, then I've heard that it's actually a monster in disguise. Well, I could talk all day about the dozens of stories I've heard. Midgar wouldn't be Midgar without the plate and the reactor. Good to see you again, Murray. Good to see you too, Aerith. I'd heard you found yourself a funny new friend. Cloud, meet Murray. She knows everything there is to know about the slums. Murray, meet Cloud. He's a former soldier and super strong. Hmm, he looks useful enough. The kids have been talking about you. The defender of the secret hideout. And now the hero of the Leaf House is helping the Daily Buzz look for the Angel of the Slums. I am? <laughs> I'm a lover of the Whispered Word. Not that it's any real secret, considering how chatty the Chinra Mutt's been. I'm looking into it for the reporting. I'm doing it for myself. Call it curiosity, whatever. Or could it be you've fallen under the Angel's spell like so many others? Anyway... It so happens that I have some information for you. But I'll need a moment before I can give it to you. Why don't you wait with that reporter of yours? Years ago, when I came to Midgard, 
Just wait outside with the reporter. I'll be along soon. Really? Yep. I helped build the rest of it with these two hands. Um, am I Just wait outside with the reporter. I'll be along soon. Talking to Mireille at all? She told us that she had some information to share. Mireille? As in THE Mireille? The town gossip? I chased her for days begging for info, but she wouldn't give up a single scrap! So how'd you get the old bird to talk? This old bird had a change of heart, that's all. Then quickly, before you have another, tell us! What do you know about the notorious angel of the slums? Has she struck again? Is that it? I don't know anything about that. I do know where her hideout is. Her base of operations? Now that's a scoop! Where is it? Tell me! Deep in the scrap, at Lookout Point. Hardly anyone goes out there these days. It's the perfect place for a criminal to hole up. Lookout Point! Got it! I'll check it out right now! But before you go, I should warn you about this rumor I heard. About a terrible fiend that's claimed the Angel's hideout as its lair. <gasps> Quite large. Lots of teeth. Always hungry. I don't know about you, but I'd not go anywhere near that thing. Oh, well, uh... <clears throat> well, a good reporter knows never to take foolish risks. Uh, plan first, then act. That's every respectable journalist motto. If it's a plan you're looking for, I'd say you have one right here. Wouldn't you? So, my good mercenary, if I might impose upon you again, it would be lovely if you investigated Lookout Point for me. Bring it. Not bad. Just 
best do it right. better in a second. You've got this. Of all the times. Go on! Call 
lightning. Not really everything. Come on. Not much better. Back in it. Guardian Angel of the Slums will collect your offering on behalf of the poor. This must be one of her calling cards. I don't see anything else interesting. Let's head back and tell them what we found. one of her calling cards! This is the genuine article, I'm sure of it! Pinned by the angel herself! Hmm. So this is one of her famous warnings. It's an incredible find! Oh, was that all? Hold on. Looks like there's something else. A message. To the nosy Shinra reporter sniffing around, I was planning to teach you a lesson you would never forget. However, by the grace of your mercenary friend, you were spared that lesson. But next time he might not be around to save you. You would be wise to watch your step. Not just a message from the angel. A warning. If the merc here hadn't bailed you out, that fiend in the scrap would have ripped you to shreds. Sorry about that, friend. Here I was, just trying to help you out. But instead, my kindness almost got you violently killed. Now, now. <laughs> no harm, no foul, right? In any case, I hope this narrowly averted tragedy won't discourage you from sharing information with me in the future. Hey, everybody! The angel left another calling card! She's gonna rip off Don Corneo! It's about damn time! Don Corneo's no easy mark! I can't wait to see how this goes down! Excuse me, I'm a reporter for the Daily Buzz and... So much for my reward. Here, why don't you take this? Oh, and no need to thank me. Let's just say it slipped out of that reporter's bucket. <laughs> Can't call it theft if you're just claiming what you're owed. Am I right? Well done, Mr. Merck. You certainly lived up to your reputation. We probably ought to call it a day. Getting late, huh? You've been working so hard you lost track of time. Had to. The pace sucked. Because they didn't know if you were worth it yet. But now they do. Come on, let's go home. <laughs> <laughs> 